Hello, this is Athena with AMG Creates, and today is Tuesday, so it is cards for my daughter to put in her lunchbox. I'm using a whole lot of stuff. Um, so you've got Perfectly Wicked, and the add-on, you have the brick stencil, the birch tree stencil, and the build a cauldron. Yeah, lots of stuff. Um, along with the red and the gray, they're, they're actually, they're named funky things hickory smoke and fired brick um distress oxide stuff so basically what i did is i had um put these on whole sticky post-it notes cut them all out that took a little bit of time but the best part is is that once you've done that it pretty much you can re reuse them over and over again which is great um also, I don't really use Halloween stamps for a whole lot of other things. I think you're going to see this again in February, um, whenever that dreaded Valentine's Day rolls around. Yuck. Um, I'd rather just use the skunks, but I think that I might use everybody. I don't know yet. Um, so yeah. Uh, I am making little lunch cards this is the third week yeah the third week that i've done this and my daughter loves them she has shared them with friends she's actually given them to a couple of kids and she says that it's it's just something that's nice she likes it so i'm gonna keep doing it um also it is these stamps two different ways two different easy ways i guess um and it showcases the build a cauldron which i don't know I'm gonna struggle for the next two cards because <laughs> I'm not really sure what to use or what to do um, but yeah uh, it's basically I'm making sure that this is taped down otherwise it will go all over the place because it is so intricate and using the ink that I have already on there I'm not covering, like, I'm covering the whole thing, but I'm not inking it up to its full inkability. Yeah. Um, I just want to make sure that it's on there. I also didn't do, like, any sort of grounding for them, so they're just kind of on there. It is what it is. This is the best part, is that they're for a 10-year-old who isn't too um critical of what i'm doing and in turn this is nice because it also helps her to be creative too instead of just sitting on a you know playing with her her ipad all day um we had a <laughs> we had what is now affectionately known as fall break so that means a five day weekend which is ridiculous but whatever and she goes back to school on Wednesday. I am so confused on why these kids have so many days off. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I get those ones. Ten. There are one, so that's five, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve days off for Christmas break for the end of the year. I don't understand because we had like the 23rd through the 1st off and we had to go back to school on the 2nd and they're getting the 20th which is a Friday all the way to the 6th which is a Monday ah so you've got fall break which okay and then Thanksgiving break which I get that's cool you can you can take the whole week, whatever floats your boat. And then winter break, and then I'm I don't I don't understand because in February, like the fourteenth and the seventeenth they have off. So what are they gonna call that? Because they also have spring break off, which is in March. And then whatever is going on in April, they also have another four day weekend. What is this? <laughs> Um, a lot of them are professional learning and staff comp days. Um, I get the kids are a little bit more 
unruly. I'm gonna go with that. They're kind of little jerks. Um, and I get that they need they need breaks. The teachers need breaks, otherwise the teachers are gonna break. And I get that. But there's also like there's no homework. Um, I go to parent teacher conference tomorrow, but last year there was just one and that was it and that was at the beginning of the year and there was nothing else there's nothing sent home um there's a thursday folder but that isn't like any communication with the teacher it, it, ooh, i don't get it like there are um thankfully uh i make sure that you know i communicate with my daughter to figure out what's going on but even then she doesn't bring home any, like, tests or anything like that, so I can't tell what's going on. And it, it's just, it's a mess. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> back to what I was doing. This is the second card. You'll, you'll see me mess up with this one, but I correct it. Uh, yeah. So, I thought that this would be kind of cute. Until I realized that I I just started off wrong here. Um, the hat wasn't what was wrong. It was the fact that I needed to have it more on the other side, maybe. And Or I could have used the other cat. The, the first cat that I had used in the first card. And I, had, I realized it at this point in time. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to make a new one. So... In order to make it look like the cat is wearing the hat, you have to place the hat first because um, it's the easiest way is it's in front of the cat. It's like the cat isn't wearing it and the, on the back of its head. Um, yeah, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, this is my problem. <laughs> I literally tap my nails on the thing and go, oh, well, shit, I don't know what to do now. But yeah, I get it all figured out. Um, I have a thing that I bought off of Amazon that holds all of my stencils, and I love it. It is like a, it's a six by six, um, it's four cake stencils. Basically, you can use these four cakes as well, but I think the cake ones are a little bit, uh, thicker. But yeah, it's, um, you do this and then you just like run icing over it and of course where I have the green is where the icing would be if this were a tiny cake which is nifty um, because I wanted it to be a little bit darker I am putting gray on here not a whole lot of gray but just enough to make it not so green not so bright green yeah and that works and then I'm going to cover it up because I'm putting those uh, the birch tree stencil behind it so I am thoroughly taping it down because these little boogers like to move all over the place. And then the birch tree stencil again is pretty much like the um, the brick stencil. It moves around. So kind of find a good spot for it. And then I just hold down where I'm stenciling and hope that it doesn't go all over the place. Which is fine if it does because I'm going to darken up those white spots. And you'll see how white that it is. And I mean, birch trees are supposed to be white, right? With like the little black, um, black lines. So yeah, but that's too white for me. I'm just darkening up the whole thing and then I'm gonna color the cat and place on the cauldron I think that these are really cute they're nice and simple uh, the only thing that took the most time was really doing the um, the masking with the post-it notes just getting all of those um, cut out and everything and of course I really need to work on cleaning my um my glass mat because i have glue on it and i don't want the glue to mess up my coloring not that it really matters and 
of course, after making cards, I feel like I need to clean up my whole desk again. <laughs> it just, it's an absolute mess with everything that I'm doing. And this is a big L-shaped desk, too. Um, it has to be at least, like, it's an L, but there's three feet, and this is where I have my computer on one side, and then the other side that you see here is also three feet long. And I've got, I, I'm a mess. I'll just go with that. And it should be one of those things where I get out all the stencils that I, I need to get out for the next, for the rest of the year, to be completely honest with you, for the rest of the year. And then, um, just work on making sure everything else is cleaned up every single time, which is easier said than done. Also, I should probably, like, clean off my stencils. Yeah. I've only had one time where it's messed up. Um, so for this, now I was looking for something. Because I wasn't sure where I was going to put it. And then I realized that I'm going to break it up. So it says, no tricks, just treats. And what I do is I put the no tricks and half stamp it and put it up there and then the just treats is going to be stamped and then I'm going to make sure that the just tricks has no ink on it and then I stamp it at the bottom and there you go and they are both all done so hopefully you enjoyed this um, they were really fun to make and I can't wait for my daughter to see them hope that you have a nice day bye <laughs>